WKU is home for big dreamers, for those who shape the future, who set their sights high, accept challenges, fuel their passions, for those with a desire to create a better tomorrow. You don't come here to prepare for one thing. You come here to prepare for everything. You belong on this hill, where we engage, learn, grow, and celebrate together. Climb with us at Western Kentucky University.
Welcome back to another installment of WKU Sports. Today we're going to be playing Valorant for CVAL. WKU versus The Ohio State University. I know the starting student screen is not right, but that is who we are playing. Here's the team. We got Ethan Bullet, Callister. We're looking to see him play Initiator, probably Breach, possibly Breach. Uh, Joshua Frenderkatz Davis. I'm not really sure what he's going to be playing, but I know he's here and he's going to play his heart out. I got Benjamin Stewie Hall and Fabian El Torito Marcano. They could either both play uh, Duelist. And Isaiah Zapanda Richardson. It's good to see all these boys here. It's going to be a very good game against the Ohio State University. We look into the game. The first map we're going to be playing is uh, Fracture. Um, WKU is going to be attacking on Fracture. It's going to be a very good game. And the second map we're going to be playing is Pearl. Pearl is going to be defense. And the uh, last one's Icebox. And I'm not sure if we start defense or attack, but that will be the third if it brings it to a third. Hopefully WKU don't have to go to a third. It can just be the first two, Fracture and Pearl. Bro, they don't know. WKU is home for big dreamers, for those who shape the future, who set their sights high, accept challenges, fuel their passions, for those with a desire to create a better tomorrow. You don't come here to prepare for one thing. You come here to prepare for everything. You belong on this hill, where we engage, learn, grow, and celebrate together. Climb with us at Western Kentucky University. As we get into this game, BKU is home for big dreams. Here it says, it still says the other college, but it isn't the other college. We're playing against Ohio State University. Let me go check on that. Yeah, it's still saying that. It should be good. As we see the other, as our team. Um, I think Misfit is the sub. Um, so the first five guys will be playing the very first game. And they could sub and sub out. So it's going to be very interesting to see what they can do here. Um, my opinion, I think WKU is going to take Fracture. But um, the Ohio State University, they did pick uh, Pearl. So Pearl is going to be interesting. Pearl is a newer map to Valorant. But um, it's going to be very interesting what WKU can do there. Um, I know WK's fracture is very strong on attack. And they're very, um, very coordinated on attack. Um, the the in game um, the in game IGL is very very uh, coordinated on attack. So it'd be interesting to see what they can do. Shut up! Don't talk. I don't care about. I don't. You can probably hear the boys in the back very excited to play. Um, they're going to play their heart out. They love the WKU. They love the team. As you can hear them back there. They're going to do a great job. As we play the um, thing one more time. WKU is home for big dreamers. For those who shape the future, who set their sights high, accept challenges, fuel their passions, for those with a desire to create a better tomorrow. You don't come here to prepare for one thing. You come here to prepare for everything. You belong on this hill, where we engage, learn, grow, and celebrate together. Climb with us at Western Kentucky University. As we wait. I think uh, the Key Squirrel has to switch over to the defense side for us to get the game really underway. Um, I'm very interested to see the comps here. Fracture is such a big map. Um, it's the longest map in Valorant to rotate from one site to the other. <clears throat> it's got those zip lines under it. There's four different ways to push onto a site, four different entrances, but only five players on the team. So either two hold one or and then one, one, one. I'm 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 interested to see who the Sentinel is going to be for WKU and uh, Ohio State. Very interested. 
uh, with the recent chamber mercs, he used to be meta on this map, so there might he might we might not see the chamber as much anymore, because um, chamber nerf uh, introduced the trademark. Um, if you run away far enough from the trademark that he puts down, it will stop working instead of actually working. And his ult just got nerfed massively. You can't shoot back to back to back like you usually could. I'm interested to see what's going to happen here. So I'm going to go ahead and put the team up, play the music until the game starts. All right, let's get into this. The game should be starting very, very soon. Everybody is here, ready to play. Here's our team. We got Bullet, Friend of Cats, Sui, El Dorito, and Zay Panda in the game right now. Miss it available as a sub. Hopefully WKU can close this out in two. It's a best of three. We've got the first map being Fracture on attack. Second map being Pearl on defense. And the last map being Ice Fox. I'm not sure if it's defense or offense. WKU want to really close this one out without getting to the ice box. But if we can get to the ice box, that would be a very exciting game for both teams involved. Seems like it seems like they're about to get ready here for this game. It's gonna be a good game. I'm I'm excited to see who they're gonna play. They've been they've been talking about who they're gonna play. I've been hearing them in the back. Um, expect to probably see that breach played on on fracture. You see that a lot with a lot of Fracture games. People are playing Breach. His fault line is old. So meta on the small sites on this map. Clear sight very well as you get into this match. Looks like everybody already knows what they're going to play. They're going to run that Neon. We've seen that one yesterday. Yesterday, that Neon on the other team for TAC would just push fast and fast into the spawn. <laughs> We're going to see the Cypher being played the in the KO on the other side. <laughs> WK, you not locked in. They can make changes anytime now. How are we feeling about this? How are we feeling about this? Dude, this stop. Not good. <laughs> Cypher's good. Yeah. Okay. I'll play Chamber right now. We're going to see the Cypher on WKU side. Also on Ohio State side, we're going to see the Cypher. They do lock the Neon. The Neon is crucial for this map. The map is so big, hard to rotate. We're going to see a Smoke character from Brimstone on both sides. Looks kind of the same for WKU and and uh, Ohio State. Except instead for their initiator, they're going to they're gonna go for Fade here. Choose your agent. They're going to go for Fade here. Instead of the KO, I wonder if that's going to cost them. KO is very good with his flashes. He's got very, very good flashes, but they also have the they also have breach, so they're going to have a lot of flashes on offense and defense. They do go with the breach. This is very interesting with the, the initiators just being changed. It's just the KO and the fade difference. As we see WKU get into the first match of C Val 2023 WKU Red Team. Yeah, they're playing the double. Yeah. 
good luck to all players involved. But if you're here tuning in as a WKU fan, you obviously want to see your team win. It's going to be a great game overall. We get into this buy phase. WKU deciding where they want to go here. Um, I'm not sure about the strats that they've set up, but I know they've been talking about strats for this map. This is one of their best maps. Very, very good on their on this map. Indeed. Very excited to see who they're gonna play. How they're gonna play this. Got the KO going towards drop. Sniper's over towards B. See them all on the Cypher camera. See some players on the other side of disconnecting. Probably just some PC issues. Oh, we're into that. I will go ahead and just play the video for y'all. WKU is home for big dreamers. For those who shape the future, who set their sights high, accept challenges, fuel their passions, for those with a desire to create a better tomorrow. You don't come here to prepare for one thing. You come here to prepare for everything. You belong on this hill where we engage, learn, grow, and celebrate together. Climb with us at Western Kentucky University. We get back into the picking of the game. Um, seems some technical difficulties on the side of Ohio State, but we are right back into it. Sorry about the audio. I turned it down so the video could be heard uh, without the jumping around of the characters and stuff. But uh, same exact comp. They're getting right back into it. They didn't change anything on WQ side. Still got that fade KO. We're going to see which one is more more helpful in attack and defense. Right now, I would say KO is very helpful in defense, but the, but the, the knife especially, the knife is going to be what... What really helps them. KO knife is, is crucial. That goes there. We're gonna see the same split from Ohio State. They got the Cypher going towards B with the, with the Brimstone as well. Also, they got that Breach playing up here, drop. Over by rope, he's just gonna play. Seems like a neon's gonna try to do something towards a main, something, something very um, what you would say aggressive. Looks like WK are gonna go right into it. So we're gonna see what they're gonna see what they're here. Both breach, both breach stuns from everybody. Oh, WKU, Rito goes down, and he's flashed. Is they gonna be caught out? He is. Three on the side of that brimstone. bullet coming up very very slow on the, um, in the push he is flanking brimstone seems to have an idea that he could be there he's gonna fight him gets the brim and he's out on sight here comes the cypher rotating in from b is he gonna be able to catch him is he gonna be able to hear him he is gonna hear him he's gonna peek him he does get some below half the a main players are starting to come back to try to get to help him he doesn't need it cypher gets bullet very nice try from Bullet. Got two. Definitely. That's definitely good. It seems like Ohio's probably gonna force here for that win. Yes, they are. How's WKU gonna respond to that? That reach on, on defense, that neon is very, very hard to, to counter that. We're probably gonna see that on the side of WKU too. As they do it. They're gonna go A again, I see it seems. Full classic rush A, they're gonna get their econ up. He opts, uh, bullet opts for a shorty. Let's see how that plays out. They do the same stun. Neon's fighting. Gets her below half. 
It's very good. Is Faye gonna open that door? Is anyone gonna decide to open up that door? Getting the ultimate point. It's gonna be very, very, very useful later. Hop flashes out of the smoke. He's on sight. He's alone. Do they capitalize off of it? It's one. Molly's off into the smoke so they can plant this bomb freely. Cypher is still over on B. He'll be fighting for everything here. Suichu gets pulled out. For Nikashi, he has a Spectre though. It's not enough. gonna get the defuse here very good that wku is able to plant a bomb that's gonna make their eco better and make their guns the next round and abilities be able to be bought we're gonna see full buys from wku and the bonus for for ohio state wku often the goes towards a again maybe. no they don't spikes over towards b Go, go, go! Cypher's over on A, putting up a tripwire for A. Cypher's on B, this is good for them, but they do have that breach combo again on B. They know, they're reading the page to see what that they are. Rito goes down. Stewie is able to trade him out. But then behind, they're getting shot. That was a massacre. Uh, Ohio State with the three pushing drop. That was very well coordinated from them. And he can't see one. He gets one. He gets one from under. And then saying, deciding what they want to do. The KO's rotating off of A. This could be good. WKU. Spikes moving towards A. That's a free and open site for them. But that tripwire will see them. And they will know as soon as they shoot that tripwire exactly where they are. WKU gets caught in the tripwire. They know. Here comes the rotation from all of them. Ko's just watching the door. He's gonna peek out. He knows where he's planted. Spike planted. Zayops to stay on sight. And the cat's going back towards the door. He'll watch the flank. Flash for him. He's flashed. He's gonna peek it. He gets the cipher. Gets the cipher. And the cat gets one two. And then KO is able to finish it out. Very good retake from Ohio State. Um, positioning for WKU was very good too. That was just um, that was just very good gunfights right there. Gonna play that cypher over towards B. This goes here. They're gonna be doing the neon um, breach stun over here. Breach does have ult. That could be very scary for WKU. Be very very scary. Switch it up. Just for fun. Let's see how they're gonna push on A. Are they gonna wait for this breach? Are they not gonna wait for it? We're gonna find out. A die does not catch anything for WKU. I'm out of here. Spotting. Shocking. There. Stinger for WPU. They do not have good guns. She's not the drop though. Of course, drop. Is Neon gonna be able to spot them? WPU will be picked off. One enemy remaining. One more picked off. Jose, Jose, clutch it. He's gotten one already. Can you get another? They're very coordinated with this. Straight into two Ohio State players. G4 was able to take him out. And that Cypher over on B did not move a single inch. She will not be moving until that bomb is planted. They're opting for the neon. They're calling for the neon breach over towards B main, not arcade, and they're not on A this time. BKU. Where they're gonna go with this? 
seems like they're gonna go towards heavy RD. Let's see what Torito can cook up over here. There is no one towards arcade. All they did was reach on. Yeah. They put a fight over and drop. What is weak? Let's see if Torito. Push on, gets shot by Dinamic. He got him. Ao's. They don't know that Cypher's still left. Now they do. They know now. Cypher trying to get out. Pushing up WKU. Say is able to get two, two over from over from the door. Very good by WKU. Drop is he gonna see them? Say he gets a third. Say he gonna pick up his fourth here. You know exactly where he's playing. Very good round from WKU. They needed that. Econ over for Ohio State is also very, very, very good. They're able to buy this one half. It looks like the Neon is popping the ult. She's over by the knee. She looks like she might ult here. It looks like they're gonna have a fight drop here too. Oh, they oh, this is a nice spot. This might be bad for Neon inside. Here, that goes there. They push straight into this Freaks Neon combo with the drop pushing up. They might push up. They might push up. Does get killed. Bullet all alone. Headshots the breach. The breach and neon are both weak. But they got oh, they got the WKU players are pushing up. They know the site's clear. Nade has her ult. The breach is very low. WKU will plant the bomb. Trying to catch get some get some sight past that smoke and see and be able to see the three players playing arcade. There's one also flanking up. Spike planted. Gonna clear for the cats. One enemy he remaining. They have to. Two, two, all alone. It's one. Weakens another. Nice try from the two. Ohio State really playing strong right now. Playing very very strong. And they pick up their fifth round in the first game on Cracker. This this reach neon combo is really just really breaking WKU apart. When that breach stuns, they they just gotta they just gotta push back for a couple seconds. Or if they just get stunned, they they can't really shoot as fast. They need to answer for it. But it seems like the breach and neon they change it up very very well. They seem to be reading WKU with where they're going and their positioning. Looks like we're gonna have some. Drop. As the Bruce and Neon are both playing together. Neon gets her ult. She has her ult here and a full shield. Is she opting to use it after this KO thing? KO does have ult though. On site. And KO answers. The KO has an answer for him. One enemy remaining. Wow. Wow, that KO ult was crucial. That KO ult will cancel out that Neon ult every single time. Right now, it's looking like KO was the right pick for initiator on defense, but we don't know until that until that raid is. Played on defense. Looks like, it looks like Ohio State's opting, opting to put that breach neon combo on A. Cypher set up over on B. Some space over here for the aid. Oh, get some tabs on them. Tags them. Tim Beacon here. Okay, gonna run back. Looks like WK is trying to try to push up uh, towards B here. Find 
Eight eye goes down. Sanford does have his setup here. He's over towards Jin. He's gonna see anything though. Yeah, WKU's gonna play default right here. Planted. Looks like Ohio State's opting. They got two pushing out of B main. That C is going to be deadly for WKU. They got to jump out. They got four players playing arcade. Especially with that free tilt. That free tilt's going to push them back. Best they can do now is save the guns. They've already. Yep. Got a flawless on the side of Ohio State for that. That free tilt was deadly. And that C. Aftershock was just deadly. Fracture is a tough map to defend. Especially with the comp that Ohio State decided to pick. The comp that Ohio State decided to pick was very, very, very um, difficult for WKU. They got that knee on the breach and that KO. Three very, very good picks. Looks like we're going to go fast A. They're pushing up fast B main. They're going to have some fast flanks on the side of Ohio State. You can have the site. They have it. They're taking it over. The site is theirs. Stewie, he's going to be able to see all three of them. Does he, does he get one? Oh, Fade's coming to help. The double peek from them. And flash. And no more than one are there. Reach decides the ult. That's a huge ult. Say, hey, does he find him? Does it? Stewie's able to pick up one. He's kind of trapped here. Chuck gets him. Ult drop. Here he comes. Very beautiful flank from from Ohio State. It was also a good ult on WKU side, but then they they stopped. Uh, defending the site, and they just kind of pushed them from their spawn and just came up right behind them, too. So they got point anyway. We get into the 10th round of this game. Looks like WK is going to be saving here. They still do have that Cypher ult. That Cypher ult is very good if they can, they can go slow and then get that pick and then use that Cypher ult. We'll know exactly where the whole team of Ohio State is. Ohio State's Econ looking very, very good. Let's get into the 10th round of this game. Kale. No one's over there. No one's Kale. This Neon. Able to clear A main. It's huge intel for the side of Ohio State. They know. Neon's going to peek it. Is he going to be able to... Is, is they going to have an answer for him? Right here. Hey, I'm gonna take that space. He hears that breach with that sound cue. You can hear his footstep. Right here. He's about to flash. He's double peaked. Ohio State able to take those two. A little bit of a kill on the KO over on drop, though. They have a gun. But Ohio State have the spike. He does pop that so he does pop that cipher ult. Those ones over, over by a uh, rope. Now I'm still pushing to their spawn. 30 seconds left. Is he gonna get that kill that he wants? Looks like the Brim is not paying attention. He calls and pushed out. He knows. Going right behind him. Is he able to take him out? He will take him out. Gets the first. He seems to have an idea where they're at. Gets to see the neon. Got the neon. 10 seconds left. Can they do it? The cipher. Running away, making this round a round for Ohio State, no matter if he gets a kill or not. Very unfortunate. WKU haven't really been able to get a really good buy-in. They do get this one, get one this round. This bullet saves the gun. He actually makes his econ better. This goes here. WKU have been changing up, but 
Ohio State have been changing up too. They've been moving that neon breach around the map. Yes, Cypher has been going towards A. I will find you. They're kind of opting for the Cypher to stay away from any conflict and try yeah. to just stay alive so his Yuto is useful. Cage trigger. See a, see a push ar arcade. Just the Cypher and Neon. He takes his space heaven. He's going to be able to clear heaven for that smoke goes down. When we peek canteen, there, he saw him, he saw him, he pings it. Torito gets shot through the smoke. As WKU pushed through the main, they're taking the site here. Will he get that Cypher? Cypher gets one, and Cypher's done. They're not flanking, bullet, he's there. He has an answer. The neon ults, though. Bomb going down for WKU. Into cats. Here's that neon running up. They know exactly where he's at. This neon breach combo is very deadly. It's proven to be very good on the defense side for Ohio State. We also do have that combo. So you can't count WKU out yet. Last round in the half. Last round right before the half. Can WK make it 10 2? They, they do have that Neon Breach combo that I've been talking about on the side of Ohio State. They do have that to their disposal for defense. It's going to be very huge for them if they can play it right. They can turn this around. WKU are still in this game. Neon and Breach seem to be playing over by B. up with WKU gets a shot on Stewie full blind and the neon's out of there they know exactly where they are Ohio State knows they're going towards A they're ready for him gets it's Rito perfect double peek from Ohio State it's all up the friend of cats The Brimstone ult, the last round. 11-1 going into the second half for, for Ohio State. WKU only getting one round. I would not count WKU out yet, though. They do have that Breach Neon combo I've been talking about. They're definitely going to use that to their advantage. Opting to use it over towards A. Like Ohio State, they're gonna go for a really, really fast arcade push here. They only got, they only got Fade on side alone. Is Fade gonna be able to handle all the people from arcade or get out? Maybe kill the Cipher and back off and play retake. It's Ohio State, they push on slowly, slowly, slowly. Here they go. They're exploding onto this side. His friend of Cat's gonna be able to handle it. He sees one. Backs off towards Canteen, he's safe. The call must be coming out, so they're there. They're ready to plant. Gets shot at through the smoke. And Bullet, dead by, dead by Breach, was watching that flank. Okay, he's trying to, trying to retake. Gets one, gets one, gets out. Nice, good kill. Brimstone pushing through. BK cannot do the retake. Match point for Ohio State here. Can WKU turn this around? They have to force up with them. They have, they, they're going to go for a Vandal Light. No, they don't. Looks like they're opting for maybe a fast... I will find you. Maybe a fast A? This is a nice one. One A. They got that neon breach combo towards A. Gets one. Gets one. Rito's over in the corner. Do they know it? Do they know it? Able to take out the brim and gets. Does not get traded. 
trying to catch him with a pickup one too. A 2v3 for WKU. Bullet with that Bucky. That Bucky's dangerous. What are they off to do here? What is the Cypher going to do on their team? They're slowly pushing up. Does he go to that door? As soon as he hears that gun be picked up, he is going to probably open up that door. Oh, man. What are we going to see happen? Bullet exposed by the door being opened by the KO dart. It's Zayon's side alone. Are they packing up. Are they looking to go B here after that pick? 30 seconds it's like you're going to hit the zip. Are they going to see friend of cats? They do see him. Does he see them? Oh, he shoots. He shoots and is able to see them on the zip line. And friend of cats picks up three. Questionable that the, that the cypher was able to shoot him there. If he, would have, if he wouldn't have shot, I don't think friend of cats would have looked over. Good run from WKU. Very, very good force round. And look at it, the econ for Ohio State is low. Very good counter force from WKU. As we get into the 15th round of play here. Looks like you're gonna have that cypher over there on B. Stay focused. The fade eye going towards going towards uh arcade. They are gonna have that neon breach combo over here, but they're ready for it. They practice for it. Neon's gonna peek um. Makes a call that they're there. And he's out of there. They take what they they take that and they run towards B. The cypher's rotating. The only friend of cats left, they're all executing B. Is he gonna know it? As sure as I can. They would have take that cypher out. Nine bullets. Able to get that neon really, really weak. Bullet lit up through the smoke. Is that a smoke? Does, does not clear his left corner. Breaches in K18. He spots our, spots our brim. Spike planted. And that's point here for WKU. Can they, can they make this retake two v three? You have a guardian. Is the aftershock on that box just to make sure no one's behind it? Last player standing. Oh, with a very good shot, and Chuck with a very good shot. Attackers that is a game for Ohio State, 13-2. Very, very good showing with that neon breach combo for Ohio State. I must say that was that was a very very good game for both teams alike. I would have loved to see WKU start out in defense with that neon breach combo that Ohio State got to start out with, because Ohio State really capitalized off that. They had a very good strats for that, and also their cipher. Their cipher would not rotate. He would have a, a setup on over on over on B. He would not rotate. But as we get into the second map, Pearl, in a couple more minutes. We'll be right back until then. Very, 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 very interesting game. wonder what's going to happen for this next map on Pearl. This is uh, Ohio State's pick. Um, they could they could uh, potentially do very well, or who knows, maybe WKU can make a weird comp that um, will work out in their favor.
Here we go as we get right back into this game. It's going to be Pearl's second map. Defense for WKU. Opt in to go ahead and pick that KJ. That KJ is going to be very, very good for setting up on a site. I'm, I'm very interested to see what Ohio State's going to go for an attack here. It's going to be a very, very good game here. They're going to opt for that jet pick. Jet is very good with ops. Seems like they're going to try to get an op in the hands of that jet. As they pick jet over on the, on the side of Ohio State as well. With that cypher. Covering over that Reyna. Are they going to go double duelist here on Pearl? On defense. As Ohio State locks in Cypher, Jet, Spade, Astra, and KO. Astra's going to be very big for this map. So big, in fact, that Zay even picks Astra. Astra is so good on this map. Especially with the long B on Pearl. B is such a long, long, long place. Many entries in the B. Select your agent. They are gonna go with that. They're just gonna go with that Reyna jet. This is gonna be a deadly combo. Reyna flashes have been updated since the last time we played. Reyna flashes are now infinite range. Very, very similar looking comp. Instead, they opt to go with that KO instead of that Reyna. And then the and then the uh, Sentinels. They got a like we got a KJ and they got a Cipher. Okay, you starting on defense here. Very interested to see what Ohio State's gonna do. On attack first round, there's so many places they can go. They can go mid, go B, mid to B, mid to A. Just A main. That's what they decide to do here. Looks like they have to go towards the B side. The spike laid down. Fade's gonna have the spike. Have to go towards B here. Pushing up fast. They're being very aggressive with this mid angle. I see. Know it. They back off. Here. I see pushing up. Bullet. Up set up. Got that shorty. Pushing up B. Fast. The Astra. Staying behind, hearing the rotations from WKU players. Bullet able to get two with the shorty. Holds down that site. In Ohio State, they're running away. They're out. Here comes that deadly Astra flank. But the turret sees it. Oh, Astra has to get out of there for she gets double peeked by the fade. Here comes a cypher push re. Repositioning and pushing back up here. The fate I destroyed, they know they're still there. Cypher, clearing the site. Very hesitant of clearing it though, because WKU could be anywhere. They have no clue where they're at right now. He hears the footstep. Here's the footstep. He's, he's going to peek it. Sees the barrel. The Reyna gets the Reyna. He turns around. He turns around. Pull it in a, in a jumble. People shooting at him from all angles. Able to take out the Cypher. The fade! And with the ace, Bullet pulls out the ace! Very good KJ setup from Bullet. Very good round from WK in general. That ace is huge. Right into their source round. Very good showing out from Bullet with that shorty double kill. Able to get the ghost off the body of one of the dead people that he killed the shorty. That turret though, that turret was able to see that Astra was able to that alarm bot that made was able to stop them from pushing on sight. Very good showing out from Bullet on the Sentinel here. And the cats pushing mid. They were so deep into the mid here. They have it. Right, I'm backing off. 
cats. Could see the cypher here if he peeks. Cypher, peeking it slowly. Gets seen by the turret. Freddy Cats knows it. Can we use to reach you? It would get one. They're close. They're so close. Messes up the flash. It's okay though. Save. Save. Shot. Lit. Torito almost gets killed right there. Stewie, gonna have to fight here. Heals. And then they take out. WKU takes out Ohio State on their save round. Ohio State do have enough money to buy this round. It is scary for WKU. It's WKU bonuses. Opting for a different setup here. We can got three towards mid. It could be deadly for this fade over here. The fade. Not seen yet. Seen. The fade. Zay gets one. Friend of Cats gets one. You know, is he gonna peek it? Does gets its his head blown off by fade. Now it's up to KJ. The fade for WKU. Setup's gone now. The alarm bot's off. He has a shorty though. Are they gonna push into the shorty like they've been doing? Up in the peak? They see the barrel of the gun. Peaks and the cats. Gets one from the cats up to him. I popped the bomb. They're gonna double peek. He knows exactly where both of them are. They can't even take them out. Takes one out. The jet. Very nice try from WT. You want us? Basically on a save, they did not have many good guns. They bonus up. WT, you have a lot of money here to buy. We're seeing some very good rounds with WKU. The double duelist, interesting. If they're able to take a really good defensive half with double duelist, the attacking half is going to be very interesting to see. KJ offing is set up more towards... He puts his alarm button over, over there. I think he's going to try to play heaven towards B. No, probably not. Placing swarm grenade. Still waiting. WKU kind of giving up, giving up mid here. Mid is open, they know it, they have it. As they push in towards A. Look at all of them just they're all piling into art right now. Astra has no idea. They have not given any sound cue for him. Chuck in a peek. Calls the art. Gets one. Stays out, gets his picking out. He knows there's multiple up there. Fade and Reyna turning around. Are they gonna be able to catch them? Not able to return that kill. Turning around, making sure no one's flank. Three pushing into the spawn at the BKU. Bates basically alone. They're trying to. They're going to push this Reyna and try to kill her. WKU Street, you're able to take out one of them, one of the pushes. Tough. It's the only one who left here. They know exactly where he's at to remain. They're gonna stick that bomb. Tuck has to do something. It's one. Well, it's able to. Well, it's able to get that kill, securing the third third round win for WKU. As you can see right there, that Astra is very, very useful on defense and offense for pulling off the bomb on attack. It just smokes in general. Her smokes are very, very powerful. Opting for the KJ on B. Seems basically full time with that B on KJ. It's 
Probably ain't gonna see one. He has the op. The op is deadly. The jet. Want to peek it. Gets the pick on that jet with that op. Very nice for WKU. Gets the gun and gets out. Are they gonna try to go towards Art again here? They've been doing it. Stewie might be able to get one here. Let's go towards that Art angle. And they heard Astra footsteps. Oh, wait. They're pushing towards Friend of Cats over here. They have full mid control. Stewie gonna peek it. He's got one right on him. Right on him. He gets one. Gets the other. Sees the fade. Sees the fade. Does he re peek it? Does he re peek it? One. Is they able to get one? Get shot with this. Shot in the head with that sheriff. He gets shot through the box with that sheriff. Gets friend of cats to respond. And bullet able to put it out. That guy had a fire in him right there. Three kills with that sheriff. That was scary for WKU. Gave that gave him some money too. It's gonna be a full buy from each team right here. This is gonna be a very interesting round. Ops just stay below instead of hopping up top. Here. Looks like looks like Ohio State is pushing towards A. They don't have an A player. Here comes KJ going to go set up A really quickly. Oh, it's a fast one. It's a fast A. Bullet knows it. Pops a swarm. Plays that push as long as they can. Looking to pop flash out of that. The ult barely misses every player of Ohio. That's gonna get three of them. Very good by, by Friend of Cats, but they got a flank. Stewie doesn't clear it all the way. And it's gonna be a deadly one. Able to take out Stewie with that. All on site. Friend of Cats dead by the cypher. And he gets headshot through the wall. Right there. Say no. Zay does know there's one right there. He pings it. Out of the target. Does know, gets him. He does have the op. They try to play the retake here, or do they play safe and try to get out? Looks like the op's gonna be saved, but the cypher, he's in the spawn of WKU. Do they know it? Zay able to answer back, and they do get to save the op and the vandal. Very scary right there. That Cypher could have took took out the jet. Very good lurk coming in from Ohio State. Cy Cypher kind of able to really stop the retake of WKU with Friend of Cats getting shot and Stewie by him. Very good lurk from Ohio State. They'll probably be expecting that Cypher to be lurking like that from now on. I'll find their cypher. Cypher seem to be going towards right here. It's a cam up. I say it's playing slow, taking that mid control. You see this every almost every round they take this mid control. Stewie backs off, knows they could be art. Taking this mid control and just very they just very aggressive on the mid getting control of this mid kind of gives him access to every part of the map almost they have to push him through this down. door gets flash gets flash hey almost gets, gets killed right there in the water fire the Ohio state Still got the player over towards A. Cypher looking towards A. They look like they're going art. They want to. They want to execute A here. It's gonna be very hard with all this KJ utility. Reyna, is he gonna have an answer? No. Looks like a free sight for them. Bullet. Do you have an answer? 
Renekat's taken out from spawn. Bullet taken out by the Jet Knives. He see you reloads out in the open. Is he gonna be able to get the fade? Almost is not able is not able to. Fade opt in to stay in the same spot. Gun here. Takes that off. Is he gonna save it? Looks like he is. Ohio State. Pulling off the site. That jet's looking for him. He's he's really looking for Zay right here. Is Zay gonna be able to get one? He hears it. He knows they're pushing. Ohio State, they want to get him. They don't want this op going into the next round. He gets one. And then taken out by the Jet Knives. Ohio State, get that op out of play. Make WKU have to buy one. WKU's econ is not looking the best, so... That op is out of play for now. BYB fam, going to Ash. Like on the side of Ohio, they're gonna be pushing B. Look at that B site. That B site is wide open. They're opting for an aggressive mid. They're gonna figure out there's no players of Ohio mid. In Ohio, they'll hear that. Ohio pushing fast on the B. Starting to realize there's really no one on this site. WKU coming in with fast flank. All of them are almost gonna be flank here. They obviously go through, going down to Link. Spike planted. Look at all of WKU. Are they going to be able to take a couple out? G Squirrel takes one out. Rito. Brenda Katz gets another one. No, the Cypher's in that corner. They know. Cypher not. It's up to Torito. Three. 3v3, 3v1. Ohio not giving him a free kit. Not giving him a free uh, shot on him. Shot up from heaven. Very good save from WKU. They were able to take out three fully armed Ohio State players with their little guns that they had. Gonna see a full buy from WKU here. With that KJ going back towards B. After that B hit, they, they really don't want to leave that open. That was just free sight there for Ohio. I know it was a save, but very free sight for them. Oh, they're opting for an aggressive A. But look, the Jet, he's ready. He's ready. Is the Jet gonna be able to get a couple? He's one. One knife left for him, and the KO. He goes down, stopping the jet match from even being able to be used. Look at this, though. Ohio, they're wanting to go fast here. All players from A have rotated over towards B. Here they come. Bullet just watching the spawn, hearing it all happen, calling it all out. WK rotates from the A angle that they had. They pushed up A main and pushed them back and made Ohio go towards B. Yeah. Ohio State. Spike planted. So you had the Astro all Astro wall for retake. Gonna push on bullet. Gets the kill on this. Gets the kill on Zay. Bullet able to take one. KO with the two piece. Bullet's weak. Bullet's taken out. Here's the running. Here's the running. Double peak. And that's a round for Ohio State University. There's not a lot really WKU can do here. Um, they're playing every. They're playing that KJ on B. Um, not as much as they were. Ohio State, they're playing their time. They're being very slow, and when they want to explode into a site, you just see it, and they're there, and they have it. 
Who judges on the side for WKU? I'll find you. They die. Destroyed. Here they go. They're taking their space mid. They always do this. Renekast holding close to the judge. They're gonna be caught by that prowler. They know they're spraying that wall. They want him dead. Get sprayed through the wall some more. Kind of just holding back that fade from ever getting close to them with that judge. Get shot through the wall. Stewie is down. Zay is there to make an answer. Zay and Frenicats both have a judge here. This could be deadly. Get sprayed on through the smoke. Headshots does not kill. And here come the rotates from WKU. They know they're A. Last player standing. Boy, through the smoke. 30 seconds left. Spike planted. Torito up to Torito. Sees one. Spots one. Gets a headshot onto that KO. Nobody's flanking. All off to him. They're often never not play made. And that fade hits her shot right onto his head. It's gonna be a full buy from both teams here. I should play some Astro Stars in this reality. Turned out. Looks like you're opting for an art push here towards mid. But Ohio, they seem to be going towards the B site here. Bullet sitting in the spot. His B site setup is the same from round one that won them that round. Here they come. Oh, they're going quick. They know. They know. Bullet left to defend the site. KOE stops him from popping his ult. Got that shorty. That shorty is deadly. Swarm grenades are out. WKU peaks. They dare peek again. Bullet dead. But the back sight. Stewie able to pick up the KO. Stewie in front of cats left. And it does have the ult here. If he's able to find one, maybe he can capitalize on ult. He's gonna ult before. So it could be deadly. Standing. Friend of Cat's killed when he's trying to go through the spawn by the jet. He knows where the jet is. Here's the sound cue. Cypher cam tags him. Sees that fade. And the Cypher takes him out. 4 7. WKU 4. Ohio State 7. And WKU make it 5 7 before the half. Okay, you having a save here, but spending as much of the money they, as they can. Pushing up B main. The fatal goes down. All, almost all players of Ohio State were found, but they're fast flanking. They're stuck in their spawn right now. Oh, they opt to push. Here comes the Cypher. A pushes up. Here's the rotation towards A. They know. He's going to check that left. He sees that Cypher. Knows that Cypher's mid. Cypher's back mid. That Cypher is stuck. Kills Zay. Runs away. The Cypher's free. Friend that cat's hurt him. He heard him jumping. He has an idea where he could be. He pings it. Cypher about to swing. Swings into a WKU player. Tags bullet. Takes out that alarm bot. Okay, you are really.
hit Ohio State. Three in the spawn of WKU. Shoots one. Cypher taken out by Bullet. This is a very good ult from WKU. Able to get that bomb. Do they get the defusal? It looks like they do. Bullet taking another out. Almost getting that fade. Very good. Very good ult from Bullet to make it 5-7 for the half. Good job, WKU. Very well played from WKU. That KJ ult really made it a win for that round. That was perfect. Very interested to see what WKU's playbook is for for this map. It's going to be very, very, um, hopefully very, very fast and aggressive. It was a fast push from, from Say and Torito. Cypher watching on that camp. He knows exactly where they are. Cypher's kind of pinned here. He it, sees him, takes out Torito. One more taken out by, by the Astron A site. Stewie, here's two behind him. He knows. It's killed by the, by the fade. Hear that reload. Look at Fade and Kale opting to flank the KJ and the, and the Astro. Takes one out, does not get the other. And Zay turning around, gets one, gets two. He's watching that flank. Does he know though? He does not know that Kale and Fade are right behind him. They're just walking. They are not giving him any sign that they are right behind him. Can say make something happen here. Planted. Does not know that he they're in the spawn. Very good rotation to get to the flank for Ohio State. They really did not expect that WKU. Even though they only made something happen after, it was almost won by Zay. WKU looking to force against, against the win. WKU could actually ruin the econ up for them here. Rito getting some thoughts on B. WKU you gonna do here? Are you gonna push through the smoke? They do not have rain up blind, smoke's down. Bring them down. Those there's one over by the stairs. Spring cats off to peak this. Okay, you cut town. Cypher backing off. Making it just a solo angle for the Astra. WKU planning. Fade does not see a thing. They have no clue. They have no clue. Our spike carrier is 30 seconds left. Spring Cat's able to trade out Bullet. Reyna does not get the cypher. Friend of Cat's trades. 2v3. And from all angles here. The jet coming in with a very, very late rotation. Flash 
gets killed by Torito. Knows where one is. Jet's coming very, very late from Art. Able to pick him off. Sees the jet. They know exactly where he is. They can play their time. The bomb is getting close to exploding. Has no clue where to look for the other players. Able to take out the jet. Doesn't isn't able to get that fade. Very good counter force from WKU. Very very good counter force. Leaves leaves um Ohio State's uh. Econ and Shambles here. That Jet trying to get that op for the for Ohio State. That would be deadly if he's able to. He has to save one more time though so his team can have guns around him. The Jet op would be crucial for defense. We only seen it a couple times from WKU. Then they got killed and never got that Econ back that they needed to be able to buy it again. Okay, you look for a far, fast V push here. This would be perfect. Be perfect considering there's no players for Ohio State on B. They're all towards mid. Say, hey, is he gonna figure it out? He knows. There's a whole bunch. Seize three. They know the site's clear. Zay in a fight. Takes out the KO. Runs off. This is perfect from WKU. They took the site and knew that no one was there. Here comes Zay for a rotation all the way around. Three coming from B main. Stewie, first contact. Is he gonna get a kill here? Shoots that fade eye. Sees the jet. Backs off. Bullet. Bullet, not able to take out that jet. Gets to Astra though. Bomb is about to explode. Stewie with one. Gets wiped out by the bomb, the jet, and the Astro are able to save some guns. Here we go. We're going to get to see that op from the side of Ohio State. That op is going to be so dangerous and so it's going to be used. Got a timeout going for WKU. While this timeout's playing, I'll go ahead and play the promotional video for WKU. WKU wku is home for big dreamers for those who shape the future who set their sights high accept challenges fuel their passions for those with a desire to create a better tomorrow you don't come here to prepare for one thing you come here to prepare for everything you belong on this hill where we engage learn grow and celebrate together climb with us at western kentucky university WKU is home for big dreamers, for those who shape the future, who set their sights high, accept challenges, fuel their passions, for those with a desire to create a better tomorrow. You don't come here to prepare for one thing. You come here to prepare for everything. You belong on this hill, where we engage, learn, grow. Get into the 16th round round of play. That jet does have that op. Let's see what they do with it. Their jet smokes it off. In anticipation, gets shot by that op head shot. Slows down the push for the B. B site for the B, but they're pushing slow up A. Where's that cam? That Astra sitting in that sitting in that ratty angle is. Is WKU gonna be able to respond to that when they figure out that he's there? At the Phantom, WKU gets one. No, he's there. Able to take him out before he ever gets anyone else. There's that Cypher. Almost gets the headshot on the Zay. That's fast art. Takes out that tripwire. The Ops staying towards B, though, just in case the rotate is, is called. It looks like it is. That Op is going to be big for, big for Ohio State. I dropped the bike. Drop it, drop it, drop it, drop it. We got Silence for WKU. Drops that ult. 
30 seconds trying left. Trying to bait that op off site. <clears throat> they kind of have an idea. There. But it's not working. They do not move. That op is planted on, on B and it is able to take out Zay. They have the spike over by B. Here comes friend of cats. Is he able to revert his attention? He is. That just leaves Bullet to save the Vandal. WK had to use their ult there. That did not pull the jet off the site. It's probably what they were hoping for, that the, the op would have already rotated. The op did not rotate. Seven nine leading into the leading into the seventeenth round. WKU was seven rounds. WKU looking to go towards A here. They do have that cipher set up. That jet is just going to be set up on that B site for that rotate. He's going to get that one pick every single time. Here comes WKU pushing off that. I forgot his cam down. Just weren't nano, and just in case that the Astro is behind that wall. You are divided. Astro wall goes down for WKU. Push on. Torito able to get one with that stinger. Torito pulled in. Not able to breathe. Re Zay, Zay gets two. Not able to get the third. WKU so go down. Very good hold from Ohio State with the Astral. The Astra and the, the Cypher. And the Astral one goes down for WKU. It covers art, but it didn't really it didn't really help them as much as it should have. Since uh since Ohio State played so close. Opting to push towards that B site. Does he get his head blown off? Let's see through that scope of this op. What he sees. Is he going to be able to recalibrate and be able to take out Torito when Torito shows? He knows he's there. He sees him. Misses the shot on the Torito. They back off and give WKU that space that they need. Here comes the jet. Oh, the jet. Is he going to be able to? Oh, my goodness. Not able to get Torito. But Torito is not able to get him either. He rotating. That Astra decided to rotate as soon as they decided to rotate. We hear you 5v5. Five people are still alive. 45 seconds leading into the round. That is able to catch both of them in the eye. They know Astra's all the way back towards A. Ooh, let's see if this fade's gonna be able to. He hears the jump spotting. He knows he got the smoke down. Suppressed. Astra, thinking. Here's WKU explodes. Rito taking out by the Cypher. Astra, Cypher. They know where Friend of Cats is, and Friend of Cats will get killed. They were blind. This Cypher and Astra hold is really being good for Ohio State. They're really playing well with their Cypher and their Astra, trying to keep them together as they they build well into each other. Seven eleven leading into the nineteenth round. Let's go there. Yes, this should do. WKU's buy not looking the best. They're opting. One's opting to buy a vandal. They have to get the op out of this hand. The hands of this jet. This jet. His opping. His opping is insane. It's really causing a problem for WKU here. They have to push. Rito knows one's there. Pushes on. Gets shot. Brenda Katz gets shot as well by the fade. Seen by the eye. Stewie backs off. Look at that KO lurk up through up through B main though. BKU able to get the sight of A. Not able to return that kill. Bullet watching their spawn. Does not expect the op there. 
bullet knows there's basically no one in spawn has a rifle has his swarm grenades but they haven't even got on the a site yet here they go exploding onto the a site here not spraying exactly where the player is standing as ohio state push up pop flash not flash gets one can he get another keep that gun he cannot as it leads on the match point here for WKU versus Ohio State University. Every team's got to buy. That off in the Jets' hands is just deadly, though. Will we get to see that, I that Icebox round three map? That is the question. WKU as they go B. Op is on B though. They're gonna push it. Astro Smoke goes out. Able to know the Jets there. Sees the Jets head. Takes the Jets head off. WKU. In a pickle here. Their Jet. The jet has gone down with the Jets op. WKU down to a 3v5 here. The ult goes out from Ohio State. They know they're towards B. But the, the Cypher goes to reposition towards the A site. Ah, they're taking mid. They are taking mid. They're taking A main control. They're really just cornering them here to the B site. BK, do they know? Can they respond to this? Do they know the Astra's close. Sees the Astra's head. Gets a glimpse of it. Astra able to take out from the cats. The fade though, fade takes out bullet up to Stewie. Stewie's got ult. Stewie, can he make this happen? Six bullets for Stewie. And it is a good game from WKU, but he cannot go through with it. GG's WKU versus Ohio State University. Ohio State is actually going to be able to pull the win off against WKU. That was just, that was a crazy game. Um, let me show you the scoreboard for that game. Look at this. Bullet getting 17. He got the ace the first round. The ace the first round was very, very crucial for WKU. Head into a second round win to a third and then fourth. And then he just lost those five in a row. Good game from WKU. WKU is home for big dreamers, for those who shape the future, who set their sights high, accept challenges, fuel their passions, for those with a desire to create a better tomorrow. You don't come here to prepare for one thing. You come here to prepare for everything. You belong on this hill, where we engage, learn, grow, and celebrate together. Climb with us at Western Kentucky University. Here's our after player interview. That this is um, Bullet and that was uh, Torito.
Guys, what do you think went wrong there for the first and second game? <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll do it. Um, I think I think for the first game, the the biggest problem that we had was we were really slow in the attack phase. We weren't able to like we were just really struggling getting really around map control. Um, and I think that was due because um, like with uh, with the fade pick over Ko, we're going for a lot more of a mid round info. And so because of that, we have to be forced to work a little bit more default, where KO is able to just detain and uh, breach stun. Also, I feel like our our breach from Neon probably should have started doing a little bit faster stuff, but it was it was all around just like struggling. Also, I also did good. notice on the Fracture map, Breach and the Neon were basically, on the other team, were playing together very yeah. well and very, very bouncing off of each other's abilities. Uh, we got to remember, they were like a top 100 team. I, I think so. They really, I mean, yeah, they, they almost won their tournament uh, last year. Um, but we gotta give props there. They they were just a better team overall. We 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 had like this season only one practice, so we, it, it, we'll obviously have our obstacles. Um, but I think for the first game on this season, it was pretty good. It'll give us a, a insight on what we need to work on pretty early on in our season. So it's really good. I think this loss should be like. A, win for us honestly because you got to learn uh from the losses yeah yeah for sure good game guys it was yeah. fun watching both of y'all um that is yes. the installment for w wku c val tournament we have lost to ohio state we get another game though right you guys get to play another game yeah they will yeah. get to play another game is it like a loser's bracket kind of thing i think so i think we, uh, I think we go into the lower bracket now yeah. go into the lower bracket so which, which is, stay tuned for that right. if you were here for valent I'm not sure when the next stream is going to be. Uh, we do have a VOD up from the last stream. And the actual full VOD is on YouTube because uh, take account for the, I the ended this time. stream early. Take, take account for the, the delay this time. But um, yeah. Well, thank you so much. Run. Get thank ready you, for you, it. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Love you. Anything. Shout out to Infernix FPS. We love you, man. This is top season. Yeah, go top. Stop season. Go top. Yes, come on. WKU is home for big dreamers, for those who shape the future, who set their sights high, accept challenges, fuel their passions, for those with the desire to create a better tomorrow. You don't come here to prepare for one thing. You come here to prepare for everything. You belong on this hill, where we engage, learn, grow, and celebrate together. Climb with us at Western Kentucky University.